In this clinked review, I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about this white label CRM software for businesses. If you have any questions about this product, go ahead and leave a question below and I'll be sure to answer you within a couple of hours. Also, if you enjoy my content, it will be hugely appreciated if you could use my link below if you were considering purchasing this product. And if you could just tap that like button, I would really appreciate it. Now, let's jump over to my screen and have a look at Clinked. Here we are on the dashboard of Clinked and I'll be honest, the design makes it look a little bit more overwhelming than it actually is. So let's explore all the options. On the dashboard is like a snapshot of everything that's going on in all the other tabs. Here you can see what's going on within the organization and you can see I deleted a ton of files. You can also click the subscribe button which will generate an RSS link and you can embed that anywhere you want. Going back to the dashboard, this is what it will look like when you've added your own company's branding. To get started, the first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and click this new client group or project button and then go ahead and enter a group name. So I'm going to call it Bird's Eye Chippy. Now you have a URL for it. And if you want to create subgroups, you can do just by clicking this and then selecting which one you want. For now, I'm going to leave it out. And if you want to upload a logo, you can do so by clicking here and then uploading the logo like so. Next, we scroll down and this will allow your customers to access certain areas. To enable or disable them, you can do just so. So I'm going to go ahead and disable events and shortcuts. Next, under the notification tab, you can set this system to notify your clients when certain things are happening inside the dashboard such as overdue tasks, new content notifications. Under the advanced settings, you can disable or enable further optimizations like comments, member details, restricted groups and disabled charts. I'm going to leave all as is and go ahead and create. Now your customer has their personalized dashboard and you can edit almost everything here. So for example, if you want to edit the welcome message, click edit and you can edit it all here, then do save changes. And now you can see that's been changed. You can also add comments, share activity, look at past activity, tag people, and you'll be able to see all the versions of what's happened and restore it. You can also set the permissions that you wish. Furthermore, in the right hand corner, you can decide to print this information, set it as a template for future reference and follow or unfollow them so you get or don't get notifications. Next, you have files where you can create folders, categorize the folders and upload files. You can decide all the permission sets right here. And then when you're ready, click the upload button. Now you can see the files listed and you can even share the link and it will automatically email the relevant people. Next, we have notes. You can add notes. Again, permissions, build website, and then you can do save. And again, you can set the template. Under discussion, this is where you can do online communication like support tickets, etc. And then go ahead and do post. And now this will display. Next, you can create tasks and you can do it by category as well. So create a category. Let's just call it marketing. Choose a color and do create. Under the criteria, you can put your mouse here and then type in a specific task. So under marketing could be create social media profiles and then press enter. And then if you want to edit it or view it, just double click on the title and you can add more notes here. You can even change the status to in progress, deferred, waiting and the priority level, as well as a due date, which could be tomorrow at let's say five o'clock. And if you want to set a reminder for this task, you can do, or you can even do a recurring one if it's daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. And you can also assign it to specific task members like so. There's also a comment feature here where you can tag people in directly. And then when you're happy, click save. Now, if you go back to the task feature, you can see you have tasks, whether they're overdue or they're on track and clicking on all tasks, you'll be able to see who the tasks belong to, as well as more information about them and where they're linked to. Next, you've got reach out. Reach out is kind of like email marketing a little bit where you can do announcements to specific members and you would simply put the subject line and then uh, some information about and you can even attach documents. And when you're ready, you can do a send test email. And in my emails, you can see that we have receive the notification and if we open it up you can see the notification right there you can also see that it will email your staff or group members that a task has been assigned to them and then when you're happy go ahead and press send it logs and it even says the status next you have members and this will list all the members or all the groups and all the pending invites as well as guests that's in your system to invite a member hover over to this button and click invite members then you can enter email addresses like so or add members from 
your Google contact list if you have a Google account, decide what sort of members they're going to be. Now, when we refresh the page, you can see pending invites have changed. And if we click it, you can see we're still waiting for this person to accept the link. Or if there's a problem with the email, there's a special link that they can just use to create the account here. If you want to export members, you can click the export members option and there you have it, it's ready to be imported. This is the message area and you want to start messaging with someone, all you need to do is click add group, select who you want to start the messaging with and do select, then click the contact and now you can say hello. Every time something happens, you will get a notification and you can even configure the settings right here. Heading over to the integrations tab, you can integrate Google or Jotforms right here by toggling and it will ask you to sign in or with Jotform enter your API key. In your client's dashboard area, you can also integrate Zapier, which basically means you can integrate almost any other software, social media, Google Sheets, or anything that you use that's compatible with Zapier, which is most things, you can connect here. And just so you can see some of the stuff that you can connect, there's over 4,000 apps that can connect to Clint. In the dashboard area, you can also edit widgets and you can add a widget and you can add or remove these widgets from the section. So for example, we've now got two hello areas. Let's go ahead and remove one. And if we don't like that, we can also remove that. We can remove this as well. And there you have it. You go to support.clink.com. You'll also be able to find all of the help files which is laid out under each criteria. And this will show you step-by-step step with pictures how to do certain things. Overall, I think Clinked is actually a good software. However, the only problems with it is the retro interface. I get some people might like that. Me personally, I find it clunky and often can lead to a bit of confusion. Uh, it would be nice to keep up with the times, be a bit more modern, create a bit more flatter design and just take a bit more care with the design. But it is fairly new and Hopefully it will keep on developing as time goes by. I really do appreciate you watching this video and if you have any questions, again, drop them below. I'll see you next time.